Good. Uh, stand up. Use the chat. Tell me what's up. Otherwise, I'm going to assume it's all good. Um, we'll go with Streamline Lunch to start. Three, two, one, go. I'll make sure you have enough room to not kick things. Okay, then turn it into compass lunge. So go forwards and sideways. So out to the side as well. Imagine you're trying to hit every point on a compass as you go through. Just do one on each leg. So go north, north, east, east. Uh, southeast and then switch feet and try and get as low as you can get your knees as far apart as possible give it a stretch in your groin then drop down into angry cat happy cat in three two one go Okay, just a short stint on this. It's like been the proper banana backs, guys, as round as you can, especially around your lower back. Then go thread the needle to make sure your hips are touching your feet. A proper roundy up. Basically, baked beam, but then put your hand on your ear and then rotate. That's probably the best way to describe it. Then switch sides. Do a bait bean, but keep one of your forearms on the ground. Second side now. Good. Make sure you look up at the ceiling. And try and point your elbow as far back as you can get it. Okay. Then go Spider Man lunge. Again, while you're down there. So open up your hips. So from there, press a plank, one foot forward, switch. Okay, keep doing that. Get your foot a bit further forward each time if you can. And now I'm gonna get you to do a downward dog in between each lunge. So go Spider-Man lunge, downward dog, Spider-Man lunge on the other foot. So go left Spider-Man lunge, downward dog, right Spider-Man lunge, downward dog. That's it. So your hips up high, back to press up plank. Let's switch. So we're chaining things together now. Keep going. Okay, now stop lunging and I want you to go rotation plank. So rotate onto your side, downward dog, rotate to the other side, downward dog. So. like a memory game. Okay, stop there. Right. Let's see, got the cards. I've thoroughly shuffled these. So grab a drink. Hips, quads, shoulders. Remember, if there's anything that you think you can't do, don't force it. Just carry on jogging. So we're going to go star jumps in between and then whatever I call out when the numbers appear. Oh, just threw half of them away. So we'll start with five dead bugs. Go in three, two, one, go. So five dead bugs. They've got to be doubles because they're odd number. Then stand up, start doing star jumps. Okay, hands up over your head feet in and out and then you're going to go into five press-ups then two squat jumps then star jump and then two windmills. 
So hands over head, reach side to side and relax. Quick drink, one more round. Back in to star jumps in three, two, one, go. So three leg lowers. Down, down on your back, lower your legs down. Then stand back up, star jump. Six shoulder taps. Good pace, Sam. Very good hip stability there, Veronica. Nice job. Time for a couple more. So we'll go four split jumps. So left foot forward, switch to your right. Do them as lunges if you prefer. Okay, then we'll go seven seconds of high knee sprints to finish off. Jog if you can't. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. Nice. Take a drink. So this is the session that has a couple of new exercises in. Let's see how well you remember them. LMR, burpee. So that's the one where your feet don't just go in and out. You've got to go out, left, right, middle. So I'll give you a little demo so you can catch your breath back. So left, right, middle, back. Next exercise is single leg row or reverse fly. So make sure you've got something to do pulls with. You can do inverted rows if you want. And you want to be on one foot. So this is more about stability than it is about back strength. And we'll talk about how we can try and build upon it. Reverse fly, so if you've got really light weights, remember you wanna be same body position, but you're taking your hands to the side instead of pulling your arm close to you. Then into dips. So use whatever you've got around to do dips on or kneeling press-ups if you can't. And then Spider-Man taps. So remember that's press up plank position, but you're gonna tap opposite hand to knee underneath you. Everybody happy? I'll go through alternatives as I call them out. So if you can't do the burpees, go with hollow hold. Get yourself set up. And we'll go in three, two, one, go. So feet in and to the left, to the right, back in, and then jump up. If you hurt your ankle, just do hollow hold. It's a nice static hold, working your core strength. Some of you are very, you're rabbits great pace as well well done hannah try and jump as high as you can as well guys again unless you've got a knee problem you want to do as less uh, a little bit my brain isn't working guys I need to do as less impact as possible let's keep go on lexi you got it 10 seconds and stop good start single leg row or reverse fly i'll give you a halfway warning so you can switch arms and legs three two one go so we're standing on one leg do it as double leg if you've got a sofa or hold on to something see so veronica come up a little bit higher so you always want to make sure your shoulders are higher than your hips that's it just find that t-shape that's excellent Oh, Liberty's gone with a single leg row. Brilliant. Two hands. Very impressive. Uh, Lexi, go flat back. Think about when we're up SSP. Yep, there you go. That's the one. 
and a great back position as well. Switch over sides. So you're on the other foot or the other hand. Sound good use of a med ball. Actually, I've got a cool variation for you. I'll show you on the next round. Looking good, Jamie. Couple of seconds left. Edie, good use of the wall as well. If you plant your foot in the wall, you know that you're flat. Relax while well, you're all learning so well. Into dips. So still hitting that upper body work. Dips in three, two, one, go. So remember, if you wanna make it easier, you can do kneeling press ups for now, or you can have your feet up if you wanna make it harder. Let's see. Sophia, if you're using parallettes, something that I did when I started using them, put one foot on the ground so you can get a lot of depth and just focus on how slow each rep is. So if you face the camera, if you stand between them, bring them a little bit closer together and then put one foot behind you, just leave it on the floor and then try and do a dip from there. And if you have to, you can leave two feet on the ground. Okay, 15 seconds left. So if you keep your knees behind your hips. There you go. If it's, if it's hard, I'll get mine out and show you how to do it on the next round. Two, one, stop. Into Spider-Man taps. So press up plank position. See, so people with ankle issues, this should be okay. Just do them slowly. Three, two, one, go. So remember, the longer you spend on one hand and one foot, the harder it will feel. Just try and keep your back flat while you do it. Like if you're struggling because of niggles, then just roll onto your back and do dead bugs instead. Okay, remember the difference between this and Superman plank is that you want to tap your knee with your hand rather than go out really long. That's it. Good. Jamie, see if you can hold three seconds. So like tap, three, two, oh, almost. You want to get easier, spread your hand and feet a little further apart. So if you spread your feet out, that's it. Nice. Nice little cheat, isn't it? Three, two, one. There you go. One round done. Back into the LMR burpees or hollow holds. If you want to switch up hollow hold, you could do shoulder taps instead. Uh, I wouldn't say sit ups because we're doing them in a minute. So LMR burpees in three, two, one, go. You can also do star burpees as well. So instead of going all the way left to right, you can just jump backwards, jump your feet out, bring them back in the middle. Have a play with the different uh, options you've got. Try and keep your back flat while you do them. And remember, jumping high is a really... Jamie, you left the camera. That was really good. Holly, you're the opposite. You're, you're really low, and then you just appear. It's a really good jump though. That's how I can tell. 20 seconds left. Savannah, great jump. Yeah, so try and focus on putting as much distance between your feet and the floor as you can. Man, some of these jumps are really good. Christian, great stuff. Serena, amazing. Danny, Sophia, and no, you're like in sync, but opposites. It's very clever. Three, two, one, stop. Single leg row or reverse fly. See, if there's nothing, there's no reason why you can't do pulls with two hands if you want. Just make sure you've got that flat T position. Three, two, one, go. Good rows, Clelia. Well done. Good partner work. Yeah, people have even got bands. It's really cool. Veronica, a little bit uh, further back with your leg. It's like aim your foot behind you. Yep, that's it. That's sorted your back as well. Nice one. Let's see. 
I'm going to say Sam because I can only see one med ball. If you want, you could do a slow row and then drop the ball and try and catch it before it lands. That's really tough for stability. Don't do that with dumbbells, guys. But medicine balls. It's all right if you try and catch it before it falls. Switch arms. All right. Stop there. If you're doing a single arm, we'll switch over. I overran a little bit too much. Into dips. Okay, you all know dips. So I'm going to take the time to grab a parallax. Three, two, one, go. Okay, right, Sophia. So if you look, two parallettes. Stand in the middle, put your feet behind them. Now where you can get really low, keep your elbows behind you. So while I'm doing that, my feet are literally touching the floor the whole time. It's actually pretty good for your shoulder, your upper back and your shoulder mobility. A couple of seconds left. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Sophia, is that harder or easier? Like thumbs up, thumbs down for harder. About the same? Cool. So start practicing. Relax there, guys. So if you can, start with no feet, then go on to one foot and then go into two feet. So it sort of gradually gets harder. Spider-Man taps in three, two, one, go. After the next rest, I'll get my med ball as well so I can show you the drop catch. So remember this one's not all about speed guys. If you wanna make it easier, spread your feet a little wider than your shoulders. Okay, nice and slow. Sam, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Great job. Good job, try and keep your hips lower than your shoulders. Let's see, Cara, if you spread your feet a little bit, see if it feels easier, a little bit wider. Yeah, try that. And then slow it down in the middle, three, two, one, relax. Jamie, really making the most of that that cheat, aren't you? But I, I figure them out and I tell you. One more round of that. I'm gonna grab my medicine ball, take a bit longer if you need it. Right, so guys, if you want to, you can, if you're doing a row with a medicine ball and it's soft and you're not going to break the ground and you, if you drop it, do this. We used to do these in the first set of videos. Slow row and then drop it. That way you've got to try and hold yourself flat and it makes you really shaky at the bottom. So have a go. Only if it's something soft that isn't going to break your floor. Let's go with LMR burpees. Three, two, one. Go. No, but shoulder taps so or hollow hold if you don't want to do, if you can't handle the jumps. Okay, probably worth if you're doing a shoulder tap, switch it up and do a, a one lying on your back because you don't want to fatigue your shoulders too much just yet. Or you could do mountain climbers if you don't want to do the jumps, but you still want to hold that body position. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. In two single leg rows. If you were doing one hand, do the one you didn't on the last round. Three, two, one, go. 
So it's filming it on each side. Remember, if you want to try and improve your balance, you can also use the sofa to try and find a better flat position. See, Harry, if you bring your shoulders up a tiny bit, so you want to be in a flat position rather than droopy. Yeah, that's it. Perfect, got it. Remember, the other thing, you can hold the weight on the same side as your stance foot. Some of you might find it harder. Some of you might find it easier. Halfway through. If you really want, you can just alternate every couple of reps. So you start building up your tolerance, you start figuring out your posture on both legs. Good catch there, Sophie. Three, two, one, stop. In two dips. Couple of more seconds, set yourself up. Or lift your feet off the floor if you wanna make it harder. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Sophia, try it with one foot behind the parallel. And then go like five seconds down. That's it, push up. There you go. There's that sweet spot where it's really difficult or it's too easy. You have to kind of like use your feet to find that balance. The main thing is that you feel it just in your upper body and maybe a bit of core. Good pace, Luke. Amelie Will, who's done the most out of the two of you? Who's done more? Whoa. <laughs> Straight in there, Will. I love it. Okay, 10 seconds left. Okay, Freddie, good pace, man. Haven't stopped today. Robin, you might find it harder, but go with a single leg on the way down. Or lift your feet up if you put your feet on some blocks. Three, two, one, stop. And then finish off the first half of the session with uh, Spider-Man taps. Three, two, one, go. So remember, if you want to slow it down, you need to have your feet wider than your shoulders and then the hold in the middle. And you can always make it more exciting, have something on your back. So whatever you were doing rows with, maybe a pencil case. I'm going to use the med ball, but not because it's heavy, just because it's in front of me. So if you had a foam roller, you try and go into that position. If it falls off, you know that you need to try and be more stable. And I, I say it every day, but I would like to repeat myself. Don't if I if you stop to grab equipment in the middle of the video, don't look at it as you're being lazy. It's you experimenting and trying out something different. And especially because I only get to see you guys one hour a day. It's better for you to try that out than force yourself to keep repeating the same stuff. Three, two, one, relax. Right, long break. So you're on second half of the session now. It's the pyramid circuit. We're gonna go with alternating V-ups. So we're aiming for the same amount this time. But what I want you guys to focus on this week is timing. So, it's still 10, 12, 14, 16, but rather than, so if I was doing my alternating V-ups like this, instead of just going like, and smashing them out, try and count so that you do two seconds on each. So like one, two, one, two. Same with the squats. If we're doing 14 squats, instead of just going like one, two, three, four, five, like this, use the whole time, get as low as you can, keep your back flat, focus on body positions. So you know whether you're improving or not. Because everyone thinks if you add more reps, it's harder, but equally for you guys, you'll build your muscle endurance. You'll make yourself more resilient when you go back to swimming, if you do these things slowly, because your muscles and your joints and your tendons will adapt more. And that's really what you want. I know it's a long way off, but that's what you want to be thinking about during this stuff. All right. So I'll start with alternating V-ups. 10. So you can do 10 doubles or five on each side. Ready to go. In three, 
two, one, go. Again, some of you have made some incredible progress on that over the last few weeks. As high as you can. Remember, slow it, keep it slow, keep it controlled. Robin, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Well done. So for 10, it should take you, I don't know, like 40 seconds. We've been doing a minute on each exercise. So if you can go up quick, try and go down slowly. If you finish, then stop, take the rest if you need it. And once you finish, stand up, just so I know that you've done. And that way we can, we can tell people that uh, need me to improve. If you all end up standing up quick, then I know I've got to add more reps. Okay. Then you're in press ups. The 12 of these. Three, two, one, go. Same thing with the press ups. Nice and slow. No rushing up and down. Take the time. If you don't get 12 done, but you do six super slow ones, that's way better for you. Like control. Two down, two up. Jamie, lie on your stomach and just push up from the floor. Yeah. Excellent. If that's too easy, try and push a little slower and spread your feet like that last thing I showed you. Yep. Awesome. Hey, there you go. Now try that. Be a little bit slower on the way down if you can. That's it. Now you got it. Perfect. So Jamie, once you can do like eight of them that way, then you know you can start thinking about slowing down. But that's excellent. Well done. Relax. And squats, three, two, one, go. So you've got 14 squats this time. But remember, make sure your knees go below. Hold the medicine ball over your head, do them overhead like Robin's doing right now, if you can. If you can't do squats, you wanna do, um, not sit-ups, do ah shoulder taps instead. But remember, take your time, one second up, one second down. See, gangly, small, mobile people. Make sure your knees are pointing forward if you can. Turn your toes out so they're looking at 10 and 2 o'clock. But make sure your knees are always pointing at the camera and doing the same thing. So I think it starts to build your awareness. Let's see. Clearly a very good. Try and stay as tall as you can as well. I like great body position. Maybe try and bring your feet a little closer if you can. Very well done. Very impressed. Okay. Then sit down when you've done your squats. So I know you've done. And the last one is sit up and twist. So think about speed. Three, two, one, go. So this is eight on each side. Come up quick, down slowly. Streamline if you can. So you just face one direction, then go back to the floor. You definitely want to try and come down slower than you came up. Good lift and curl there, Sophie. Well done. Nice streamline, Freddie. Okay. Sophie, you thought you're frozen for a second. That's so slow. Nice. Remember, if you don't think you can finish all eight on each side, it's better for you to do less, but slow. So you'll feel your core squeezing a lot more. Stand up when you're done. I'm not trying to add work by saying stand up and sit down. It's just easier for me to tell when we can move on. Okay. Almost there. Emily, how are you getting on? Good. Right. Here we go again then. Sit up and twist, back down the pyramid. Three, two, one, go. Nice. So remember, you're almost trying to pull your left shoulder towards, think about a hedgehog curling up, or when you do baked beans, you're trying to get really small in your stomach at the top of each one.
So let's see. So examples, Robin and Sophia, you're doing them so slow. It's incredible work. You're probably going to be here all night if I if you do 16. So just finish on an even number once everyone else is standing. I'll let you know. But that's a much better place to be in, I promise. Same for you, Lexi. Are you frozen as well? Your camera's definitely frozen. That's too slow. I'm joking. There's no such thing. Okay. Stand up when you're done. Let's say girls and guys that were going mega slow, just finish on an even number. Then you're going to go into squats or shoulder taps in three, two, one, go. So remember that tempo, like one second down, one second up. And you can always switch in between. So as long as you get 14 either shoulder taps or squats done, that's fine. If you're shoulder tapping, then do 14 on each side or you'll, take, you'll be done very fast. Okay, these tempos are awesome. In fact, if there's two of you in the room, you could alternate, couldn't you? You could have one at the bottom, one at the top, and then just switch. Okay, excellent, Lexi. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you Monday. Enjoy your dinner. And then sit down once you finish, guys. Then into press-ups. You think I'd remember these sessions at some point. Press-ups in three, two, one, go. See, so aiming for 12. Offset Google off. Let's see. Isla, copy me. So Junior Kent, EA, lie on your stomach. So just completely flat down like you're going to fall asleep. Put your feet wider than your hips. And make sure your elbows point down to your feet. Yep, so lie flat on the ground. Like completely flat down the on, your, on the floor. Look at the ground. Make sure your elbows point to your feet and then push. Is that a bit harder? Yeah, you want to feel it here. So if it's too tough, just spread your feet a little wider again. But carry on. That's really good. Nice. You absolutely nailed it. If I was giving out points, I'd give you an extra 10 points per push-up just because your elbows point down the way. That's awesome. Stand up when you finish, guys. Right, that's about a minute. Then 10 alternating V-ups. Let's see if we can get everyone doing the doubles. Even if you only do eight of them. Keep a nice, slow, consistent pace. Three, two, one. Go. Again, we're like V-ups because it means you've got to have good hamstring mobility and lower back flexibility to get them done well. Think about your tumble turns. The neater you can look doing these, the easier they're going to be, which is why mine are rubbish. Okay. If you feel comfortable, your extra push-ups. That's awesome. Right. See, if you want to make it more challenging, you could try and hold a little weight or a foam roller between your ankles, so you can squeeze that when you rise up. That was a, uh, an accidental Hamilton reference there. And then try and stay in streamline for as long as you can. So see if you can try and get like that, but you know, with your body up off the floor. As soon as you finish your turn, stand up. Go on, Jamie. We should do like a wilting flower exercise, relax. Stand up and you're done. Start that way and then just see how slowly you can like unfold that way and then time it. So you can get to a minute first, like a minute of starting here, then finish there. One more time, alternating V up. Three, two, one, go. And remember, the cool thing about starting in doubles is that if it gets too much, you can always revert back to singles. You want to try and go one second up, two seconds down. So it should be about three seconds per visa. I'm not even sure if I can pull that off, but you guys definitely can. So like one, no. Especially as you get bigger, as you get older and you start growing, adding a bit of weight, 
that's going to make it far more challenging. So the better you can hold that position now, the easier it will be in a few years' time. A couple of seconds. Stand up when you're done. And then you're into push-ups or shoulder taps. Three, two, one, go. Okay, if you did alternatings, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Like you were doing an amazing job regardless of what exercise you were doing. So don't worry about it. You're not doing a bad job if you do a different exercise to what I say, as long as you listen to the coaching. Like that's worth a lot more to, to you as a swimmer and a person, believe me. Okay. Good. Now remember, if you're starting to struggle, lie flat on your stomach and just worry about the pushing bit and then go from there. Um, let's see. Jamie, how do you get, uh, not Jamie, Robin. I confused you. Robin, how do you get on with wide grip or narrow grip? Did you find one harder than the other one? Okay, stand up and you're done. Whichever one it is, maybe vary them up. Just a thought. You could do one of each, like wide, normal, narrow. Uh, into no, not dips. Squats. One, one more into squats. I doubt we can top that last round, but let's try. Three, two, one, go. So two seconds down, one second up. So down, down, up, down, down, up. Make sure your feet, no, not your feet, your hips come below your knees or at least as low. So let's see. I, I would call that a sumo squat and it's one of my favorite things to do in the gym. Very cool. Nice wide feet, good for your hips. So the breaststroke is especially very nice. Remember, two seconds down, one second up. Some of you have absolutely nailed that now. Or if you want to try and work on improving your depth, have a little box. Stop once you've got to 14. So I don't know why this is always kicking out of the living room, but I've been using it most of the videos. As soon as you know you can hit that, then get something a little bit smaller. Sit up and twist to finish off. I think pretty much everyone's there, but that's really good pacing. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Okay, keep going. Remember, eight on each is it eight? Eight on each side, slow and controlled. Whatever makes your core work the hardest that it possibly can. For some of you, it'll be speed. Speed might be more challenging for you, or you could go sky set up. So have your feet up on some books, which doesn't have to be very high. Edge of your bed might be too high. If it is, to start small, build your way up. Okay, a little longer, it's about a minute. Remember, stand up when you're finished. I don't want to cut anyone off early. Okay, very cool, guys. Well done. Let's see. Javier, how are you feeling today? Oh, good. Reese, are you squatting all the way through that? No. Cool. I thought I saw you squatting for a bit. But your knees okay? Feeling better this week? Good. I know I asked you earlier in the week, but, you know, a few days can make a big difference, right? Okay. Same as usual, guys. Matt will send out a new link during the week. Um, was I supposed to remind people of something? Matt's going to send an email out to remind you of something. I just forget what it is. Um, follow the stretches if you have to leave. Thank you for joining in. Have a nice weekend. Everyone else.